Alright, so what I want you guys to do right now, if you haven't already, is turn on notifications to my channel, because in an upcoming video, I'm going to be giving away some V-Bucks, and the only way that you guys can get these V-Bucks is if you're one of the first persons to my upcoming video, because I'm going to go ahead and flash some PlayStation or some Xbox Live codes on screen, and the first person to see these codes and input them onto either the Xbox or the PlayStation will be able to redeem them and get some free V-Bucks to purchase some awesome character skins and other custom options in the game. Once you guys have done that, I want you guys to type in the comment section below which platform you guys want to get free V-Bucks on, whether it's the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One. So guys, with all of that being said, let's dive straight into today's video. What's up guys, my name is Brandon, you guys can call me Swifters, and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video here on my channel today. I'm super excited to be talking to you guys about an item that was confirmed to be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, but the developers have still yet to introduce it into the game, and I honestly think that a lot of people have sort of forgot about this item, even though it was a huge topic and it's still an item that I cannot wait to come to the game. Of course, today we're going to be talking about the Jet pack we're gonna be taking a look at why it wasn't introduced into Fortnite and where exactly it's at right now and when we may be able to expect to see this awesome item coming to the game so I don't know if you guys recall, but a little bit over a month ago, this was posted on Fortnite Battle Royale. If you logged into the game, you went to your news updates, we had an item that said Jetpack, coming soon, take the flight to all new heights. Now again, this item was posted and it was talked about coming to Fortnite a little bit over a month and a half ago, considering Epic Games uploaded their images and they were talking about the jetpack at the very end of February and it was expected that we were going to be receiving this jetpack in early March. Shortly after news of the jetpack coming to the game was found out, Epic Games shortly announced right after, saying that the new jetpack item would be coming to the game in a later update, however, due to a last minute design change, there were some issues found with the jetpack, there's been a change and the hunting rifle is set to be released instead of the jetpack and in addition to the hunting rifle, there's going to be a new lucky point of interest added to the map. Of course, this was lucky landing, so with the introduction of the brand new hunting rifle and a point of interest being lucky landing, that sort of replaced the jetpack coming to the game. So although we were originally going to receive the jetpack within Fortnite in the start of March, the developers decided to take it out to fix an issue and change the design of the jetpack to hopefully reintroduce it into the game in an upcoming update. So after it was announced that it was going to be replaced by Lucky Landing and the Hunting Rifle, additional information was found in the game files of Fortnite that gave us a ton more information regarding the jetpack. So one of the many things that were found in the game files indicated that the jetpack contained fuel and some of the items found in the game files were sound files that indicated a fuel up or a fuel out or a fuel warning sound and it's clear that the jetpack is not something that can be used indefinitely. There's a finite amount of fuel and you obviously need to refuel your jetpack in order to go ahead and continue to use it but as of now the method was unknown and it still is currently unknown as to how you could actually go about acquiring fuel whether or not it's just by time and you can only use your jetpack after a certain amount of time has passed since you've last used it or if you had to go about actually finding fuel within the map. Now, in addition to the sound files that were also found, there was a HUD found that indicated that if you had the jetpack equipped onto your character, you could see the fuel bar or the fuel gauge. We also had some files that indicated that there was a hover mode associated with the jetpack, allowing you to hover in place, accelerate forwards, backwards, and up and down. Not only that, there was also some evidence suggesting that there was going to be a limited time game mode specifically for the jetpack known as Take to the Skies. This could mean that the jetpack could only be made available in the limited time Take to the Skies game mode. Now honestly that does seem a little bit unlikely that they would only introduce it into a limited time game mode and not have it in the regular battle royale playlist, but at the same time it's definitely a possibility. Maybe it could be a limited time mode just to try out the jetpack and see if the community really likes it and then if the community gives positive feedback for it then they may potentially introduce it into the regular playlists. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but I just find it a little bit odd that Epic Games discussed and talked about having a jetpack in Fortnite a little bit over a month ago. It was found in the news updates if you were to log on to Fortnite. It said that the jetpack was coming soon, and obviously I understand that they needed to remove it to fix some issues that were found that affected the way that it was used in the game. But other than that, we really haven't received much information a little bit over a month later. I don't know about you guys, but I really want to see the jetpack implemented into the game, and I'm just a little bit confused as to why no updates have been discussed regarding this jetpack. Regardless, the developers are constantly updating Fortnite and giving us some really cool items, whether that's daily cosmetic items found in the item shop, giving us new items like the port -a fort grenade, or whether it's just giving us some cool limited time game modes like Volume 2 of High Explosives that ended a couple of days ago, and the newly updated 50 vs 50 game mode. I know that the developers are working overtime to provide us with some really cool content, and I really hope that the jetpack is on their list and it's still an item that the developers have been working on and improve upon it to fix those issues that limited them from introducing the jetpack into Fortnite about a month ago. Regardless, I'm so excited to see what the developers decide to do with this jetpack. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super, super excited for it. Let me know in the comment section below if the jetpack is an item that you guys are excited to see implemented into Fortnite Battle Royale. Would you guys like to see it come to all of the featured playlists, whether that's solo, duos, or squads? Or would you rather have the jetpack only available in the limited time Take to the Skies game mode? Keep in mind guys, none of the information that I talked about in today's video is 100% confirmed. The only thing that is confirmed is that the jetpack was originally intended to come to Fortnite and the developers are currently working on bringing it back to the game. So we don't necessarily know if it actually has a fuel up or a fuel down, if it has a hover mode, if it even requires fuel, or if there really even is a limited time take to the skies game mode. All that we know is everything was found in the game files and it's definitely something that we can expect to come to Fortnite very soon. Regardless guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the hymen. Throw that to the side. Yo. I get those goosebumps every time. Yeah, when you're not around, when you throw that to the side. Yo. I get those goosebumps every time.